Hey, hey, how are you today? It's Slow Psycho with you once again. And uh, we're back on the monster train because it is 8 o'clock in the morning and I can't get enough of it. Yeah, you heard me right. It is to the point now where I am playing the game just as much off the streams as I am on the stream. So what I wanted to do, because we did have a daily, uh, a daily challenge yesterday on stream and it was the last game of the stream that didn't go very well at all as you can see it's taking its time to load at the moment we're not entirely convinced why seems to be on the go slow but while we wait for it to decide to do its thing pale to load challenge Hey, hey, how are you today? So Psycho with you once again on this lovely day. And uh, yes, we are back playing on the Choo Choo from Hell. This is the monster train from Shiny Shoe and from Good Shepherd Entertainment. And I'm playing this game uh, as much on the stream as, uh, as, as off the stream. So 8 o'clock in the morning, let's go ahead and have a look at a single player game to see how the new updates have changed things. Um, there was a rather large update over the, uh, over, the, over the hours immediately before the launch. So we're going to play a Covenant Rank 2 game. And we're going to see just how many more differences we can find. We are playing Seraph the Chaste, and uh, she will be the Purifying Emblem. She's going to remove half the buff and the debuff effect stacks. Uh, very important. I, I like this, actually. Because Seraph can play some very different types of games in the final battle. So, knowing in advance what she's going to do is very good for us. We are starting with two Wildwood Saps. We are starting with two Making of a Morsels and we are starting with one Bramble Lash. And uh, Bramble Lash is actually quite a good one if we can get our Sentient with her Spike action. I bet she hasn't. Oh, look at that. One will ask and one will receive. We enjoy it when that happens. So, Cursed Vines, 50% chance to swap front and back enemy units, or Hell's Banners, 3 Ember bonus when you gain uh, when you summon your second unit. No, no we got to go here. The game likes throwing out shields and shielded brutes and giving them massive, stupid attacks. Especially when we get to Fell. Fell loves to give you the blue and rage doesn't she time for the first defense non-boss enemy units enter with spikes three if it's 50 coins i'd probably not have done it 75 coins i i'm i'm tempted i'm tempted retribution so we've got our own spikes as well of course which means that he's gonna die almost immediately Another good sentient um, starting point is when they do the rejuvenate and do 15 damage on rejuvenation. Now, I'm almost convinced. I say almost convinced, and we're just going to do some extra regen there. That um, eating morsels with health does actually count as healing. Despite the fact that it's not actually healing. Anyway, we digress. We will load up our... Oh, we can't do that. We'll load up some of our floors. We can't get to the collector this time round. So it's good that we're doing the trial for the cash bonus. Because we're not going to get any cash from the collector today.
Rest bite means that bossy is incoming. Oh, well, I think I'm going to leave my train steward at home this time round. I'm going to give you some damage for the next run. Boss incoming, so the morsel miner going to give him plus five on our sentient. I don't expect a 100% free run in these first levels when we're doing the trial. So I'm not too worried that we've just taken six damage. Uh, oh, he's going to die anyway. That's fine. Can we, can we speed things up? Of course we can speed things up. There we go. That's a far quicker bat uh, battle when we do the 100 points of damage thanks to the spikes. Uh, so we got we got 1,600 points. We, I, I took that six damage. See, I'm not too worried. Six damage at 12%. It caps at about 50%, I think. But six damage. It's a trial. I'm happy to take it. Glimmer's going to be useful later on for us. As well as some additional embers and cards being drawn. Thanks to excavated uh, thingamajiggies. Let's get a number of banners. Looking for a morsel. I like alloy constructs, but we do need to have a morsel maker as well. Uh, upgrade a spell to remove, consume, and plus one. We'll do that on these wild wood, wood saps where we can. I would much rather... I, I would like a third boost on those wildwood saps for endless then we'd only ever need one and we'll just put regen on every single time well i say it, i meant hold over hold over that's the word yes not endless uh disciple conduits armor emblem armor 10 for an additional unit draft we'll go for that because we've got 10 spikes, and 10 spikes will generally take away 10 armor. That's a lot of rage, though. So we'll put our sentient there. We'll put our alloyed construct there. We will set up our excavated embers thing. They're going straight up the top, aren't they? That's not good. That will sort half of that problem out. Hopefully we'll get some more glimmers very, very quickly. We're fueling up our monster. It's our monster machine, that is. There's our regen for the sentient. We'll get that going. We'll get some more fuel for our delightful alloy construct. We'll get all of this health regenerated. We're only going to do one damage on the pyre there. I'm not too worried about that at the moment. Please, please. We don't want haste on the fire. Oh. oh, no, no. We'll get rid of the haste. That's fine. That'll do me. Uh, one, seven, twelve. She's going to die. He's going to go straight to floor two so no uh, health isn't really going to help us there I'll put some more embers there at least we're going to have a second floor battle as well that's not going to be helpful though We'll stick that extra regen onto him. We need... I think we need to get these morsels into our big monster machine. Could have done with Bramble Lash on the first floor, but ho-hum. Uh, that's going to get him down to 158. How much fuel have we got? Two. 
We need we need more souls. We've got him. Excellent, we've got him. That'll do. I'm happy with that. One damage, was it? One damage. Again. We're Covenant 2. We're playing a trial. One damage is not the end of the world. I'm not taking Wildwood Sap. We've got enough of that. Enhance the unit with 3 and 3. Or enhance the unit with 8 and minus 2. Don't really want to take away. Ah, what have we got here for our bonus? Thorn Hollow can be a good... Can be a good, especially because it's got the spikes. Now that used to be gain spikes one, I'm, I'm sure. Now it's gain spikes two. We'll take that. They will be good on. So we got we got our champion the sentient for the ground floor or the top floor, depending on on how we're playing. We have got the uh, alloy construct for the top or middle floor. And then we've got our Thorned Hollow for the third floor, whichever way it goes. That's fine. And I want to duplicate that Wildwood Sap, I reckon. So that we can just keep everything healing. <laughs> Crucible Warden or Crucible Collector. They're both they're both around the side. The only difference is the Crucible Collector's got 20 health. Life steal against damage shield. I, I, I'm not convinced. So, our first concealed cavern. Do we want to uh, copy a card from afar or copy a card five times? I always do copy five times, but I'm going to copy one card, see if it does anything unusual. Like, I could use that Wildwood Sat and copy that five times and get rid of these. But would five times be, a, be too much? I think it would be. So I'm going to get rid of the non-upgraded one at the next opportunity, I think. Three's enough. Even in a deck of around 30 cards, you're going to get one every, every other draw, in theory. Right, so spikes 10. Uh, we'll put you there. Yeah, we haven't got enough floor space really at the moment. So we're not going to be using our... We might be using our construct actually. We might use our construct later on. I'm not going to I'm not gonna put the Crucible Collector in yet. Because he'd just get taken out by the double bomb. Oh, we got a game over there already for our Sentient. That's not good. 4, 8, 10, 30. Can't be doing that. I'm sorry. We just don't have the energy for that. So we'll do that. Could have put regen 5 on, but I'd rather fuel up our machine and get him ready. So we'll do that. I'm going to put my train steward in the way. Try and save my thorned hollow. Which we are doing. That There we go. Rejuvenate didn't do a lot for him then, did it? Excavated ember time.
Get rid of the haste down there. Get some more healing done. Uh, that's going to take it down to 3136. He's not going to have any fuel. Oh, he's not got any fuel. That's going to be a problem. <laughs> Straight on to haste. There we go. So, we're going to heal you. We are going to get... Some morsel action into you. We'll increase your spikes. Oh, you've got haste. Have you not got fuel? Have you not got fuel? Oh, no. We're going to take some damage then. That's a shame. Oh, I, was, I wasn't looking. I didn't want that. I really didn't want that. I need to get some embers into our friend here. Need to get some regen on the go. Hate to say it, but Crucible Collector is going to be sacrificial, I think, here. he got for fuel two he's a got enough fuel for one attack at the moment coming up doesn't matter we've got daedalus doesn't matter that regen's doing well for us Eight damage. I'm not too worried about that. Not too worried about that at all. 3,120 points. Now. This is shouting at me and saying the alloy construct could deal with trample really well. This is also doing, doing well for me because I can use that on the alloy construct to boost his fuel level. Quick is kind of not really in in the grand scheme of things. The question is, which do I go for? I ne I'm more needing of fuel. Uh, Thorned Hollow, Shattered Shell, I think. Here we've already got some big beefy. Already got some big beefy going on. And always take capacity. Always take capacity. What I do like, and what you do need to be aware of, is that uh, Shiny Shoe have said that they are taking some anonymous data from games to tweak their scores and damage. And they mentioned it in their live stream during launch day. Um, I think it might have been Shiny Mark who was talking uh, about that. He just made a reference to it. We're going to go to probably regen. I'm going to take another sweeper. I'm going to get rid of that consume wildwood sap. That, that's fine. But uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not saying that I'm concerned that they're taking data anonymously out of the game and, and send it, but it will affect. So, the fact that I always play Light of Seraph, if everyone only plays Light of Seraph, then they might tweak it. They might make that sort of like plus 10 health, plus 5 damage or something like that. So, just be, just be aware of that. They do change. <laughs> and on launch day, we had, what was it, 80 different gameplay changes? Tweaks due to stats and feedback. Anyway, uh, Spell Shield 2 
that, that sounds fairly easy, actually, because most of our damage is damage. Uh, Clipped Guardians are coming in. They are 5 damage, 95 health. Absolver. After combat, these Absolvers, they, uh, they add Scourge cards, which can damage your pyre. So we need to be very, very careful. Hopefully, they'll swap around as they come in and we can hit them first. Like that. To be fair, most of them are going to get killed by the spikes, but... Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll even stick a sweep right behind. Health bonus for the sentient. Not worried about him. He do, uh, Not worried about him. He does no damage at all now. Oh, I ain't got enough for that. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We've lost we've lost the collector, but we're not worried. We're getting fuel into our mechanized mayhem chaotic monster. <laughs> that's typical, isn't it? We've got no mortals to uh, morsels to eat. Morsel there. Got a morsel. Got a morsel. Eat the morsel. You haven't got any fuel at the moment, so that's a bit of a problem. We'll chuck some regen onto you. We are taking some damage, and that's um, only because we aren't quick enough at getting these morsels. That's the only reason. He should have fuel this time. Still not enough to do it. Enough damage though. We're taking battering, battering upstairs. Oh, crazy. Uh oh, 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 rubbish. We can't use it because of the spell shield. And we now can't add morsels for fuel. He's got no fuel. I can feel everything the wild would live. The wild would may live, we got nothing in that middle floor to attack. We might be in trouble here. Draw a card. Still no fuel. We are in a lot of trouble then. I mean, a lot of trouble. Very lucky we got the Crucible Collector in there. We're almost using our um, alloy construct there as a shield rather than as a battering ram. Which has turned out effective. Rarely. Rarely it takes... <laughs> it's a rarity that it's actually effective in that way. Uh, we, we've got the trial bonus though. We've got the 150 coins. A 
apply rooted, draw a card, restore one health, gain an ember, draw a card, or add three stick. We'll go for engraft, I think. And we've also got... Uh, ooh. That might work. This ember forge. Don't like playing him. He's, he's four capacity and only benefits us for two ember a turn. Um, at the, uh, un Unless we get the right artifacts, that's going to... That's just going to basically become a, a problem. We would have to have something like Crucible Extension. So I'm going for, for Cannibalize, which will give us more morsels to feed up our uh, alloy construct with. Now, there's a choice. Conceal Caverns or a Trinket. That could be good. It could be absolute rubbish. I'm going to have to go this side. 50% chance to remove all buff effects or when you play a, a big spell, all the other spells are reduced to zero embers for the turn. We haven't got any big spells. Not yet, anyway. Uh, what would I look to get rid of? Nothing, really. What would I look to duplicate, though? Bramble Lash is useful, but only on the floor. Well, it's useful now on two floors, because if we've got the Thorned Hollow or the Thorned Awoken, the, yeah, you know the one I mean. Where is he? The Thorned Hollow. But... I'm gonna, I'm, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna duplicate the shade splitter, I think. I know what I would normally do, and that's look for a morsel maker. I'm gonna duplicate that one. We need morsels. Lots of morsels. Non boss enemy units get plus six. We've only got 60 health in our pile, I don't think so. Not for coins, anyway. If it if it was maybe for uh, a unit, maybe. Oh, let's have a trigger when the unit dies. Armor ten. Okay. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put a sweeper behind. Each of those. There's my alloy construct. At least we're going to get the collector this time around. We've got two deaths coming up. That's 20 armor. He's not going to be dead on the top floor. Alloy Construct only does 50 damage. Uh, what's that? 59. So that's going to be 28, 56. Not beneficial at the moment. Restore one health, gain an ember. So that's a free card, essentially. Oh, all right then. Maybe not. I'm going to have to give him a mo another morsel, though, to keep him fed. It might not kill him for this one, but it will get it for this one, I think. Maybe. Yeah, it'll get him in that one. So it's going to be a small damage on the pyre to start with. But Alloy Construct should get him because he's got fuel. Yep. 
Now, what do we need there? Not a lot, really. He's not going to die, so I'm not too worried there. Let's do that. Four fuel. That's fine. I'm happy with that. We're going to have an, I think we're going to have another attack on that top, for that pyre, I think. It's a bit of a shame. He's dying because we haven't got enough morsels. 65, 28, so that's 55, 45. Two attacks on the pyre, 10 damage. To be fair, I could have put a train steward in there, couldn't I? I could have protected my villain collector with a train steward. Balls. That's all I can say to that. 200 damage. Don't know how that's going to affect... Uh, what we got. Plus life... Plus two, plus life steal. No, I'm going to put him up there. Need to now build up our alloy construct. 65. Crikey, that's the four attacks. That's 20 damage on the pyre. Balls. Most of that... Is that a sweeper? Is she sweeping? Oh, yeah. She's sweeping, all right. Draw one card next turn. No point doing regen. Absolutely no point doing regen. we we, we got to focus up here. I, I don't think we can do any different, really. We just gotta hope that there's enough there. We've got 10 regen. She's sweeping, so there's no point putting any morsels down because she'll just kill them what I'm thinking is a thorned hollow still going to leave with 61 that's 8, 16, 24 we've lost the pyre And it doesn't help the alloy construct run out of fuel. We let we left with one health on the on the big boss though. That's so so close. So so close. Let's have another run, shall we? As you can see, the fact that they're both max level, I, I, we're, we're getting there slowly. Look at these card masteries, look. We're starting to get the occasional win, aren't we? Well, we've had two wins. Two's better than none. This time round, two Wildwood Saps, two Space Prisms, and one End Snare. What are we going to get on our champion this time? More spikes? More spikes. We'll go for spikes. I prefer spikes. Uh, gore abilities trigger an additional time. Good, because if we get an alloy construct, we can ramp up the fuel. We need a morsel maker to go and do that, though. Uh, Non-boss units end with three spikes for 75 coins. That sounds very deja vu.
We'll put some regen in. The, the, car, the cards come through anyway. We'll be fine. So we'll put art there. We'll put one there. Problem is, you're gonna, that train steward there, you're going to die fairly quickly with spikes, aren't you? That's not good. Must remember that we do not have our alloy construct yet. Don't matter which side I put it. We'll root the we'll root the healer. Not the healer's actually gonna be healing much. Just splits them up. Those spikes are not helping us one bit. Change the sight, it is gonna die though, so that's good. I'm not going to take any more damage on the pyre, which is good. Relatively easy victory. Yes, a bit of damage taken, but we're doing the trial, so we're, we're going to expect that. Restoration Detonation is going to be my go-to card here. We're going to be restoring health on our sentient all the time, and we are going to probably need it. Uh, damage Shield. This engine upgrade is not going to be any use to us at the moment because we've got such small flaws taking capacity off a floor for the benefit of one ember a turn is n especially if we're not going to see it until at the third or fourth draw in mind collapse is going to be better for us i think let's try and get some morsel makers or crucible collectors Upgrade a unit with Endless? <laughs> I'm not convinced any of them are, are worthy of Endless yet. Or uh, Damage Shield maybe to the Crucible Collector to get him started. Again, I don't think we're going to want Quick. And we don't, we don't really want Damage Shield 2 again on him. That's a shame. That's a waste of 50 coins on the reroll. It was 40. It's now 50. But it's a waste of coins. And I was hoping for something a little better than that. Non-boss enemies get plus 4 for a unit draft. That'll do. That's fine. Especially if we get Restoration Retribution a few times. So we'll get the Sentient out. We'll immediately get the Crucible Collector out. Regen straight away. Train steward to get the collector. Train steward to help out the sentient. I, I was, I should have put him there really, but hoping for another train steward in a moment. Or not. I'm hoping for another train steward in the moment. No, don't be silly. I'm going to get another train steward psycho. Ah, uh, I've got there four. Only four. But we can do some damage. We they're gonna die anyway, so that's a waste of 
Actually, it's not a waste. We can use that. It's not costing us anything. It'll get us another card next turn. We'll put our train steward there because there's not enough room. What's he going to do? 65 damage overall. It's a shame. I would have wanted a little more. Could be worse. He's going to die this this run, so uh, we're not we're not too worried. Just give you a bit of extra help there. Nice flying headbutt finish. Six damage. Not overly worried about six damage yet. We'll take Glimmer. Don't think we've got Glimmer yet, have we? No. We c a Glimmer can do really well if you bu get it buffed up enough. Uh, kill a Morsel trigger as though it's been eaten 2x times. We've already got a Mind Collapse. We'll go for a, that one. And what have we got? Damage Shield, Life Steal, or Sweeper. We'll take another Crucible Collector. This means I probably won't now go for the Alloy Construct. We'll take the health. See what the caverns bring us and then decide on our next trinket. Ah, so, right. Uh, two, two times embers, pyre health, or enhanced with three times embers damage. Health. More likely to need health. Damage shield 2 to the first enemy summoned or at the start of a turn add a common or uncommon morsel unit. We're going to need morsels. And Gorge is going to do double the effect. It's good. It's good. Uh, enemy units do 1 damage to the front on death. This is Daedalus. And there's our first three morsel spikes. They will die. Put the crucible collector up there because we've got, of course, our constructed explosive. Uh, we'll take a free card next run. Don't need the pie health boosting yet. Don't need the floor space boosting yet. Gonna need regen fairly quickly then. Like that. Like that. Put the next collector in there. Could do with that restoration detonation coming back very, very quickly. Unlikely to happen, of course. We'll get rid of the bomb. Let's start giving you some life steal as well. To there, five. Oh, crikey! We're gonna lose him. We're gonna need to sacrifice our morsel this time. That's not good. Eaten and gorge abilities like it's two times. There we go. 
I am what? Oh, we got we, the, the embers apply to this round, not the next round, because we've eaten it in the round. Oh, what a waste! What a waste, psycho! What a waste! You're gonna die. One of you's gonna die, but not two of you. You're gonna be fine. You're sort of gonna be fine. That sorted that problem out, although you're not gonna be completely dead. Uh, can I do that? Will that not explode now? Maybe. Eater gains one health, one damage shield. There we go. That will do us. That's fine. No, so rooting doesn't affect the explosive. That's a shame. Dazed works for the explosive, but clearly not. Clearly not rooted. Final wave. Nine eighteen twenty seven didn't affect things. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll make sure we don't take that morsel now, because that's for the next round. thing is even even having another regen 5 wouldn't have helped there i don't think uh 130 we could have used that card just now definitely 9 18 so using health regen there's not going to be helpful could use glimmer i suppose like that that's just going to be an, a little extra How are they both going to die? Oh, from, from the morsel. That's fine. Uh, minus two. He's going to get some life steal out of it. Five life steal. He might. He, he's going to spend some time healing more damage than Daedalus can give him. We got him. We got him. Happy days. We'll take that. Three damage. See... As long as you, you, you're not taking a huge amount of damage, I'm not too worried. Shroud Mitosis. Three copies of a morsel unit. Trample. Or Adaptive Mutation. I'm going to go for Shroud Mutosis. Now, we've already got some beefy in. So, I'm going to go for Amnius of Speed. Who gets, uh, gets her attacks in before the enemies each round. And again, we'll take Seraph of Light, which we'll probably continue to do until they nerf it. Uh, what we got here? Health, Merchant of Magic, or Duplicating and Getting Awoken back. I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to go for something like another 
Welting sapwood revenge gain one ember. I'm tempted to go for sweep, but this one's interesting. We've already got we've already got enough big defensive. We've got the collectors. But that ember bonus might be useful. No, we're going to go for sweep. We're going to go with what we know, sort of. Uh, what we're going to duplicate. I'm tempted to duplicate restoration detonation, you know. So we got these at the front, along with the sentient. We've got Amnius of Speed on the back. We've got the Husk Hermit on the back. That That's potentially going to do 50 damage each time we play it. Spikes 20. Oh, it wants us to get rid of a card. What do we want to get? We don't want to get rid of anything, really, do we? No. Don't want to get rid of anything yet. Yes, we've got a bigger deck at 28 cards, but non-boss enemies get multi-strike. Tempting. Very tempting. He's going to lose half his health. So let's immediately start stacking up there. Oh, he gets 10 armor for a spell. Bum. Bum. we got to put some extras out somewhere then to... There we go. No, hang on, hang on. Put that up there. Put sweep there. No, then we got that. No. So we can get 50 off of you. I'm just, oh, I'll just put a train steward behind him at some point. That's fine. Or her. I don't know. Is it him or her? Does anyone know? I think it's a plant. Do plants have male and female genders? So, regen... Plus three. And we'll just do that just to get you a little bit of health back on the sentient. Does that mean that's... Oh, that's going to give him 10 armor if we do that now. So, we'll do that and that. Still only going to do 26 damage, but it's fine. We've, we've got 65, 55, 45, 39. 45 damage up there available, so we're happy with that. We'll put a train steward in there then. Loads of health and gorging. What a crazy time to do that when we've got no one we can use it against. Not going to use it up there because he's going to get armor. He's going to die anyway. So. Uh, what was I going to do? I was going to start morseling up, wasn't I? Oh, we got any. Uh, really? Really? Because we created a morsel on the floor. He's just picked up 10 armor. <laughs> no. Horrible game. 
We'll still get him. He'll be fine. He's still he's still only got 19 health left. Uh, we'll put Wildwood Sap on. Hey, that's a big boost. That's fine. I, I like that. I like that a lot. 305. Is there any benefit to putting the train steward on? 380. I think I think you'll find it is certainly going to end up being a, a floor two victory then at this rate. He's definitely going to die this time, which is good. I'll tell you what we can do. We can give a little more shield to our Crucible Collector. Look, he's got 11 life steal already. He's got another 8 life steal now. The headbutt from hell from the Crucible Collector. Didn't do any damage at all on the, on the pyre this time around. 3,400. We'll take that. Regen restores one health extra per stack. We like that. Bramble Lash. We like that too. Uh, ooh. 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 I would take Excavation Eruption. 80 damage. On a floor potential to gain more embers or ember cash which is guaranteed more embers no it's we're gonna need to get extra embers to be able to use it but but um merchant of steel cash and pyre Ooh, 107 pyre we don't need that we'll go this way We'll leave the shop. We'll go to the, con the, the concealed caverns first and see what we get. We might get something that changes how we use our, our merchant. What are we going to take? Abandoned stay? Probably not. Right? We've got two blight cards. That means we get one ember per bonus turn. But three calcified embers. They become the same ex extracted embers or whatever they're called excavated embers uh that that other card that we were just looking at would give us as well so we don't need six extra lots of two ember later on it, 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 it just wouldn't uh upgrade a spell to remove consume and cost plus one absolutely definitely that one where's it gone where's it gone where's it gone there there Reroll, see what else we get. Gain permafrost. Which one's permafrost? It stays in your. I think that's the one that stays in your um, hand until it's played. That will benefit us a lot. Ten times spikes plus ten. Nah, 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 nah. We'll make it cost less. If it, if it was 20 times instead of 10 times, different story. Uh, do we want to get rid of anything? Not at the moment, really. We don't want to get rid of that Wildwood Sap unless we get to duplicate that one. The Sycophants of Seraph. And, uh, yeah... The Crystal Cloak now with her Stealth 8 instead of Stealth 5. Uh, mark of Invasion. Enemies on each... No. no. Enemies on each floor. No. No. 
They'll have five damage, two rage, and they'll be like, no. Sentience. Uh, Crucible Collector. Uh, Crucible Collector. And your first round of life steal. We'll give some damage benefit there to the sentient in a minute. Need to restore some health, I'm afraid. Probably going to do us more damage, but... You're going to die, that's good. Extra embers, that's good. We'll take the extra morsels, that's good. End turn. So we're now starting to put our rear guard in. No, don't want to purge that. No, Psycho. Don't purge that. You, that'll be big for you later. We'll take a regen, though. Extra health. Oh, here we go. Here's our excavation eruption. So, four embers. We could get the two sycophants. They're going to die anyway. He's going to die anyway. He's not going to die anyway. He's going to die anyway. Don't think the benefit is going to... If we had it in that first round with the four sycophants, we would have got eight embers out of it. But... Right, so we'll do that. We'll take the extra turn. I know you're going to die, but we'll take the, the extra card. I'm going to take the extra card. Not going to need any of those. That's just going to cause more trouble. No, 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 no. Now need to get rid of these two. It's going to be hard to get rid of these two, you know. Might have to take at least one hit on the pyre. Not a lot we can do about that. They're both they're both shields, but they've both been given extra damage from the woman sycophants. Crystal cloaks not gonna get. Ooh. Any way I can get rid of him, so I can do that. There's no other way, is there? There's no other way. Not a big effect, really.
I reckon we've got her on the next floor, though. A stealth there taking good effect. And she's a goner, which is good. We'll take that. I'll tell you what. We'll try... <laughs> 28 life still. We'll make it a bit quicker. There we go. He's never gonna. He's never gonna get a kill because he's taking 22 life back each time. Each time he smacks her. Battle one, eight damage taken. Disappointing. Disappointing. Uh, right, consume, draw one, enhance the draw and card to cost zero. That's that's a rubbish card. Don't like that at all, because nine times out of ten, you get the restore two, regen one for zero anyway. Or for one even. Restore one health, gain one ember, draw one card next turn, or add three sting cells to your hand. We'll go for that. That's the the, 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 the lesser of the evils. Gem Trove, apply damage shield one to friendly units to add three uncommon or rare morsels to your hand. Trinket, Trinket, Castle Caverns, or health. A little bit of a boost for a, a, a train steward and some coins. That is a no-brainer. The rail spikes are back. Which of the uh, which of the three would we go for? Hellhorn, Stygian Guard, or Umbra? Spike of the Hellhorn apply two times rage, two times armor. Stallion Guard, get uh, one sat, one time sat, one times Frostbite. Or Umbra, kill a morsel unit, trigger eaten and gorge abilities as if it has been eaten two times. With gorge triggering abilities a second time, that is going to be a monster of a card. That basically sets one of our collectors up for life. Train stewards get damage shield two and multi strike one, or when you summon your first morsel, draw one. <laughs> At the start of the battle, summon a morsel miner on each floor. Or when you summon your second unit, gain three embers. Or 50% chance of dazed entering the train. We've only got one choice. That we've got 300. I'm going to go for that one. Chance to daze me as they enter the train? Yeah. Uh, Fel is giving her guardians shields and armor. Yay. Spell shield time. That means we need to batter them with pure, pure brawn. Ah. Uh, yeah, we'll start we'll start the quick on the bottom floor then. Ah oh, no. The spell shields are useless. Of course they're useless, they're spell shields. What a waste of fifteen damage. Right, so Crucible Collector will put you there because you are the one with. Uh, is that gonna? Is that gonna? That's gonna take a shield away and add armor to the middle. Jeez, jeez, Louise. 
We'll put a sweep behind you then. We'll do this. That gets his life still on the go. Eight life still straight away. Love it. He's basically never going to die. Well, that's the plan anyway. See, I could use Bramble Lash now, but I can't. There's no point because she's shielded. Now she's going to die. Different story. And it's not a discard either. It's not a consume. It, it goes back into your discard pile. Shame it doesn't have Trample as well, but ho-hum. Ah, oh, he's going... Oh, 80, 90, 100, 117. He's going to have four, 16 damage on the Bull and Pyre. That's not good. Might need that later then. Don't want to use those now, the X cards. Three. Four. We're going to get some more as well in a minute, I think. What's he got there? That's uh, 77. Another 3. So another 16, 24 damage on the pyre. And I'm not going to get anywhere near it, am I? That's tempting. Just to... Actually, I'll put you there to help out rather than do that. I was tempted, but no. So that angel should go shortly. And we can start battering down the hatches. So you're going to do 10 damage there. We'll root you for the next round. What? Oh, he's going to get 10 armor because he's... Oh, bum. Hmm. Wrong floor for that ember. Uh, uh That morsel, sorry. Oh, just to add to the, just to add to the bleeding party. No, oh, he's going to get 10. Oh, rubbish. Rubbish. Root him. Ah, 
I think Fell might have us here. Final wave. 220. Is that all you're going to get out of this? 240. You get armor when a unit dies. You get armor. So I can't put any morsels of any real benefit there. You got sweeps. That, uh, no, you haven't got sweep. You got multi strike. Now they're a nine damage short. We've got some embers for the next round. At least he's not going to get to the pyron. 259. Three hundred and five. That's not made any effect. Bases are loaded. Not a lot we could do. All we could have done was something to give us more life still and that hasn't worked. fair. It did more damage than I thought it would. 50? 50? Ah. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 life steals. Oh, he's only got 20 health. It's not going to matter, is it? He's not had a single plus three. And we can't force him to eat that. He's still going to die. Oh, crazy. Whatever we did there, we couldn't make it work. And Fel has successfully defeated us once again. A new healing record, which is always good, but we're still on Covenant 2. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the gameplay from the new Monster Train now that it's released. Now they've tweaked and picked and perked and nerfed and buffed and done so much to it over the last couple of days. Uh, it is a real challenge and it's addictive. Do go find it on the Steam store. It's around about the £20, $25 mark. So do go check it out. And last time I did check, it was 10% discount for launch. Thank you very much for watching. You take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.